Greetings and salutations, everyone. I felt a compulsion to make this video because it's uh, something that doesn't get talked about enough, and it's something that, frankly, is paramount to treason as far as I am concerned. And I believe treason should carry the death penalty, just so that's perfectly clear. AFL has obtained an internal State Department memo exposing the Biden administration's radical plans to centralize power and destroy the U.S. economy in the name of climate change. A thread. The memo confirms that the Biden, excuse me, that the Inflation Reduction Act was never about inflation. In truth, the Biden admin lied to the American people. Gee, what a surprise pretending to fight inflation while enacting radical climate change measure targeting every sector of the U.S. economy. I'm going to move my little box here so you can see. <sighs> the Inflation Reduction Act of 2020 is the largest step forward ever taken on climate policy in the United States. Together with other actions the administration is taking, the law positions the U.S. to achieve our own and reducing emissions 50-52% below 2005 levels in 2030. Our own NDC. That must be uh, some kind of acronym for climate-related goals. President Biden's goal of reaching net zero emissions. If you know the uh, if you know what the NDC acronym is, please let me know in the comments. <sighs> Increases their ambition and accelerate their implementation in line with the Glasgow Declaration. The act will save families. <laughs> no, it won't. And create a bullshit figure a year on energy costs. No, the fuck it won't. And creates good jobs across the country. No, it doesn't while increasing our energy security and advancing environmental justice, which is a nonsense made-up talking point. It's pathetic that it's actually language being used in government documents. Climate justice is not a thing that exists. The IRA is projected to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by about 1 gigaton, a billion metric tons in 2030, 10 times larger than those generated by any U.S. legislation ever enacted with emission reduction coming from every sector of the U.S. economy. Further details about the IRA are available in blah, blah, blah. I'll see also attached, blah, blah, blah. So there you have it, folks. We're going to go through the... We're not going to open every damn memo. We're just going to look at uh, the tweets that uh, summarize them. And again, the account is at America First Legal. You can come to this Twitter thread. Um, I have retweeted it on uh, my... Dodge Thorn transitioning kids is evil account if you want to go look at the thread for yourself. On the pretext of adaptation, the Biden admin is centralizing federal government authority and spending hundreds of billions of direct and indirect taxpayer dollars. The Biden admin's budget reflects a quadrupling of climate finance. This in a time where our homeless population has exploded. We have a drug epidemic, a fentanyl problem coming across the border, illegal immigration at historic highs. Yeah, yeah, man, we, we really got to focus on making sure those cow farts aren't polluting the environment. Keeping us on track to a six-fold increase in adaptation finance and working to meet the 100 billion mobilization goal. I wonder how many families you could feed and house with 100 billion. I wonder how much, how many, how many border protections you could put in place. Hmm. The memo reveals that U.S. diplomats must encourage climate ambition. A code for ever increasing command, government command and control, which is true. The memo reveals that U.S. diplomats must push their countries to spend more money, climate proof in structure and water resources, and use inclusive, gender responsive approaches. Yes. Yes. 
we must make sure that all of the people with all of the fake made up genders, all 100 billion trillion of them, we have to make sure that they're included in the climate justice. Because, of course, without, without, without all the screaming blue-haired rad femmes, it just wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be climate justice now, would it? Of course not. <laughs> and then they actually link to the thing that they have on their website, I believe. It's an article. And I would highly encourage you to come check this out to inform yourselves on what exactly is going on. Not enough people are aware of this kind of nonsense going on in our government. <laughs> it's the Soylent Green New Deal. The ruling class is cannibalizing humanity. Fun fact, the, the 1973 movie Soylent Green was set in 2022. That is wild. Oh, man. Charlton Heston. Soylent Green. It's the year 2022. People are still the same. They'll do anything to get what they need. And they need Soylent Green. Jeez. It's truly hell world, folks. It's truly hell world. <sighs> so, I'm just going to wrap this up real quick, guys. Thanks for being here. Again, content on the channel is slowed down because I had slowed down because I have to get a day job had to get a day job. I can't talk very good today. And also, there might not be any content from me for the next two or three days on any of my platforms because I'm going in for uh, surgery tomorrow. Nothing big, just getting some damage done. Uh, some, some damage done. <laughs> Jesus. Some damage undone. Some stuff in my nasal cavity fixed. So nothing major. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you want to support us, all the links are down below. You can come over to Twitch TV and find us. And, uh, if nothing else, we appreciate you being here and watching the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the adventure.